Hey guys, so today we're going to be making DIY snow globes. This is a great craft to recycle all of your old spaghetti jars or any mason jars that you have laying around and makes for a perfect little gift. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, we're going to need a mason jar with its lid still attached. And we want to make sure if it's recycled, clean off any residue, any kind of paper. Just make it clean, nice, dry jar. And then we're going to need some photos. These ones are four by six free print photos. And then we have our glitter. This is going to serve as our snow slash confetti in our little snow globe. And then we have our hot glue gun trusty old hot glue gun. This is to glue all the pieces down onto the lid. We have some sandpaper. This is gonna help the glue adhere onto the lid. Some vegetable glycerin. We have some distilled water. You can use regular water, but distilled works better because it's more clear. And the combination of these two is gonna give us that nice viscosity that's gonna help move around everything in the snow globe to make it wonderfully falling and beautiful. And not pictured here, but we will need a laminator to laminate our beautiful photos so that they don't get destroyed once they're submerged into our liquid mixture. And then lastly, we have little decorations, anything that is waterproof. This is gonna be perfect so we can decorate a scene and make a beautiful 3D story come to life with our free prints picture. All right, so first off, we're gonna start off with selecting your photo. I picked this cute little scene of my dog and I in Big Bear. Whatever is in your snow globe, you want it to be special because it's gonna look magnified once it's in the snow globe. So yeah, you wanna just have a really special memory. And then start off by cutting the subject out. Subject being me and my cute little puppy. You also want to make sure that for whatever picture you're choosing, that the subject is pretty clear in frame so that you can cut it out and have them stand out. So now that we have our cute little photo cut out, we want to make sure that it fits the size of our lid. And if it doesn't fit, you're just going to cut it to make sure it does fit. And it fits. And now we're going to go laminate it. Voila, now it's laminated. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out from the lamination and glue it on our lid. So this lamination process is very important. It's what's gonna help make the picture waterproof and able to be in that snow globe. And then just make sure once it is laminated that it still fits because the lamination adds a extra millimeter of length. So just make sure it fits and it does. So now we are ready to go ahead and decorate the lid with the rest of the scenery to go ahead and plop our photo onto. So now that we have our photo laminated and cut out, we're ready to start making the scene on top of the lid. And what I like to do first is actually sandpaper the bottom of the lid. It just gives something extra for the uh, glue to grip onto. So, scratch it up, should look like that. And now we're ready to glue. So I got some little rocks from my garden. I got these little snails from Michael's and some more foliage, these little trees also from the craft store. And yeah, that is what's gonna be in our scene. So we're gonna get to gluing. So as we're waiting for the glue gun to start warming up, we're gonna start placing the decorations with the photo. You don't want it to hide the photo, just enough to set the scene. So you don't wanna crowd it. There we go. So you want to make sure you have things in the foreground. And then we have some rocks placed in front to conceal that line of indication from the lamination. And 
probably gonna put a snail or two in there. So cute. There we go. Whoop. There we go. So yeah, I think I like the look of that. So we're gonna start gluing it down. There we go. Perfect. So you don't wanna go too close to the edge because you want the jar to still be able to close with all of your decorations inside. So that passed the test. We are good to go and continue setting up the scene. We're gonna glue our little snail decoration onto the rock. It's easier to do these tinier pieces first before. Ooh, so our snail wasn't sticking on the first time. So with the sandpaper, just go ahead and sand the stone. And that usually does the trick. Gives it something to grip onto and allows the glue to stay in place. I'm gonna glue some rocks on both sides of our photo. This is gonna help weigh it down and also help with the balance of the photo too. There we go. So it sticks up. So it stays up on its own. The support of some rocks. Glue this guy. What's that cover? My doggy. Right, so we have a few more rocks to add onto the back. I wanna make sure everything is balanced. Actually, I like this now. This snail, he's smiling. Little smiling snail. So cute. All right. So we're finished setting the scene. So we're gonna set this aside, let the glue set in, and we're gonna start making the mixture for our snow globe. So we're gonna start making the mixture for our snow globe. We have our distilled water here. Distilled water works perfectly because it doesn't have any minerals or anything in the water. So it's perfectly clear. We're gonna put one to two teaspoons of glycerin per cup of water. So we're gonna add a little splash here. I usually just eyeball it and we can mix it. All right, so we're gonna leave some room up top to fill it up all the way in just a bit. But once we have our distilled water and a few teaspoons of glycerin, we are going to add the glitter. This is the exciting part. And the part where my indecisiveness kicks in because there's so many glitters to choose from, I don't know which one would be best. All right, so we've chosen silver and gold. These are the most festive, so we're gonna add some gold glitter to the mix. We're gonna add some gold glitter and then some silver glitter. I usually just eyeball it. I put about that much and start mixing. Once you mix, and you see all the glitter inside, that'll help you gauge how much more or glitter to add. Unfortunately, you can't take out glitter once you have it in there. So go little bits at a time, and I think that's good. Actually, I wanna put a little bit more like other kinds of glitter in there too. So we have our thick cut glitters here. I'm gonna add some tinier cut glitters, because I think that would be really cute. So now that we have our thicker cut glitters in the mix, I'm gonna add some finer glitter in there. Now this is a really pretty glitter. It's um, actually iridescent, so it's gonna reflect and shimmer in all sorts of different ways in the light. Just add a little bit more dimension to the mix. Look how beautiful that is, wow. I did a pretty good job, I must say. If you have bigger foliage, like the tree, for instance, you wanna make sure to add just a little extra glitter because the leaves tend to kind of hold on to the glitter. But yeah, that's about it. And once this dries completely, we are ready to dunkaroo. So now that we got our glitter in the mix, we are going to top off the water so that it reaches, I mean, basically all the way. We got more distilled water. Boop, 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 boop. Wow, that's beautiful. And moment of truth. Woo Make sure it is secure. Oh. And you have your beautiful snow globe. Beautiful, beautiful. 
we have our little snail peeking out through here. Say like, hey guys. And you can see that the glitter is moving around, free flowing. That's good old glycerin doing its job. It's a great gift for little children. I think they'll be entertained for hours with this. Honestly, it's so beautiful. It makes such a great gift. And it's so personal too. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to make your own DIY snow globe. This was super fun to make and there's definitely a lot of personalization that goes on in making your own snow globes. So I hope you guys try it for yourselves. And if you do, let me know in the comments what type of glitter you chose, what color glitters you chose, and what memory you chose to commemorate inside your snow globe. If you wanna keep getting crafty, check out some of our other tutorials. We have a lot of them. And yeah, stay crafty. Have fun, bye.